flying bomb over London. For 80 days, beginning 16th June, British defenses faced an average of 100 robots a day. Out of the 8,000 bombs launched by the Nazis, 2,300 reached targets within Britain. Thousands of the buzz bombs, flying at 350 to 400 miles per hour, were brought down by the combination of fast fighter planes, barrage balloons, and anti-aircraft guns. November 1943, air reconnaissance revealed a hundred launching sites stretching from Calais to Cherbourg. Extensive bombings destroyed the elaborate emplacements. The Nazis hastily constructed new firing points, simplified but thoroughly camouflaged. Trees draped with netting and portable evergreens were among the evidence of deception found at a wrecked robot launching station about ten miles north of Rouen. On a concrete blockhouse, possibly for storing bombs, was a map of the British Isles. The floors of many of the structures were fitted with rails. Apparently the Germans employed this rail line to speed the movement of the flying bombs from storage points to the launching ways. The catapult arrangement indicated the employment of rockets electrically fired. From here, the buzz bombs were sent as far as 250 to 300 miles. Component parts of the launching platforms were still intact, despite obvious enemy attempts to destroy as much as possible before fleeing the area. These parts were identified as possibly being fins for the bombs. The light alloy nose caps and braces... When mounted, the nose contained the compass. Broken sections of the flying bomb were scattered throughout the area. About a mile away, a church steeple was used for observation and flight control. Almost all the sites in France were oriented in the direction of London. A number of duds fell in fields the result of improper launching or faulty manufacture. A warhead which contained approximately 2,000 pounds of explosive. Compressed air inside spherical bottles kept the gyros spinning and substituted for a fuel pump, forcing gasoline into the jet engine. A tubular jet propulsion unit was mounted above the tail. The buzz bomb had to be fully regulated before the takeoff. With the mounting Allied victories along the Channel Coast has come a gradual dwindling of the flying bomb attacks. However, there is no immediate guarantee that the menace has been fully eliminated.